Wow, can't believe I'm doing this again, again, especially right here when the next mainline game with this is almost here. Hey guys, that's Gum here, and we are starting a new Let's Play on a game that <laughs> came out about five years ago. Well, we're close to that, and that game is Sonic Forces. Some intro cutting this is, huh? Just jump straight to this title screen of this ba no, base here. <laughs> and there's no CGI cutting or anything. Or things, so uh, that's a little disappointing, but yeah. This game is quite a mixed bag again. <laughs> people like it, people hate it. But yeah. I always we think the game's okay for what it is. <laughs> is in. So, yeah, I got. I'm gonna be playing on hard on hard difficulty. The only difference between normal and hard is is how many ring rings you lose. That's it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Video shows cutscenes and episode shadow. What could that be? <laughs> that's something we're thinking I'll be showing off in a later video. Right. <laughs> so it gives the same option here again, but. Of course, we're gonna be playing on hard mode, obviously. Why wouldn't I? Sonic, how are you? And all of that loading has been focused into this invincible instrument of destruction. Every defeat, every humiliation of the Hedgehog plans will be returned a thousand fold with my mind unstoppable rage. This is my dream. This invention, I can expand the Ant-Man Empire across the globe and conquer the world! <laughs> the box made its business this time. Uh -huh. So, yeah, back for the boot. <laughs> well, we're pretty much. Yeah, okay, what, what am I saying here for the start? I right, off here. Now I wish I turned those question mark things hints off, but. Because, yeah, well, starting this game off here with the good old boost Sonic here, which. Yeah. Uh, with, yeah, this game, it, it controls okay, I guess. No. Probably the worst of the boost games, honestly, but yeah. I'm not gonna be back. Yeah, I will say that. I, I won't be back hating on this game all the way here. I'm gonna be, be as fair to the games I can be. The end. I'm not gonna be just raging on this game here. Here and yeah. Red rings here. I'm gonna try to see if I can collect as many as I can in a stage here. It's because these levels here are pretty short for what they are here. Here, which, yeah, kind of sucks, but eh, it is what it is. Yeah, so yeah. don't think I think I missed the red ring. Oh well, I don't need to get them all. That has to have been a, a reference to something like adventure because I do not want to. <laughs> well, I mean, not wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong about that, but yeah, Sand Hill thing, that definitely has to be, a, was a reference to Sonic Adventure, cause, as you know. <laughs> oh, cause as you know, it, there, was, there was the Sand Hill minigame that Tails played in his story. Which, there was a way for Sonic to do it, but I don't remember how to, exa to do it exactly. And... Oh, we're so close to getting gas rank up. Oh, well. Oh, that's okay. Figure this out. 
much more devastating if they if you was put in a cage and doing that last part in. Yeah. Well, it's taken over just through a text box, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, that cutscene could have gone way better with better writing. Hang on, I believe it. Yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Hangman Zombie is unstoppable! Without Sonic, the people are losing hope and giving in to despair. Despair is a luxury we don't have. I still dream that Sonic is with us. Do you think he might be? I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. Sonic is gone, Mary, and Tails is... Tails has just lost it. If we're going to win, we have to do it without them. Silver's right. We've been hoping for a miracle this past six months, but I'm afraid we have to make our own miracle. Eggman's army has everyone terrified. If we want the people to rally, we have to show them that strength doesn't just come from numbers. Not everyone is terrified. Isn't a new recruit joining us today? Yes, a survivor from the city, right? I'm accessing the file now. Yeah, one line that Silver said I'm an optimist, but also a realist. Can't ruin this character, but yeah, enough about that. Yeah, let's get to the main gimmick of Sonic Forces here, what? Which is a pretty cool gimmick, which you make your own custom character here. Here and the, I'm gonna show you the different types here where here when yeah. Get your own custom you get to create your own custom character and help help be alongside Sonic and help you save the world from Eggman, which that was a really pretty cool gimmick. Like, I really think it's a cool gimmick here and, here and yeah, they also have these abilities here as you can see. Like the dog here his ability is reset with some rings after you're getting knocked out. Whoop it Wolf draws items towards you. You know, you're the rabbit the ends it's <laughs> it's a bit to drain do invincibility direction while hit, when hit. Bear blows an enemy's away from wire attack. Cat can hold on to the, some rings after taking the image. The bird can easily perform double jumps and hedgehog drop, drops rings with, with remaining longer after taking the image. So it's nice that they have cool little abilities these here, which yeah, it's going. I'm gonna be choosing hedgehog here and I already showed you the hero type too. I'm going for the standard default one on here with I don't even care about the ability and here you can even change the color of their skin to be something completely weird and crazy hmm? here but I think I'm I don't know wanna go for this one and and then you can even change the eye the shape of their eyes you <laughs> then that one's creepy yeah and <laughs> And yeah, it's more, more of like, yeah, I mean business, but yeah, I'm gonna be going for the tech too, and you can even change the color of the eyes to be any color you want. And I'm going for the echo, even change the color of skin to uh -huh, that. But now, I'm going for this color, and I'm gonna try to recreate, basically, I'm gonna be trying to recreate my OC, my, my custom character I made in my main file, do as best I can, even though. There's no way I will be able to go for everything, but I'll be able to show it off in a bonus video and 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 yeah, yeah if you press X here you can hear the sound of their voice which Yeah, so I'm going for the type two here and you only have vic different victory animation poses here. Here's a I'm gonna play through them all here. And I have that one there, but it's cool. Taking a bow. Oh, that one. And dusting off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely the, the best part about Sonic Forces here where. Oh, it's. Mm, he, yeah, definitely the best part of Sonic Forces here is just creating your custom character to live through the story that Sonic's friend would just. Such a great idea. He's, again, easily the best part of the game. But now, and he's also going to be appearing in the cutscenes too, which is awesome. And so, let's get. Hey, that looks great, and let's get started on this. Knuckles, what's the sit rep 
Commander? Happy to see you're all still alive. Eggman's forces have chewed through our defenses at Green Hill. His assistance in the city is reporting that whatever it is that finished Sonic... Sorry, I'm still not used to saying that. Whatever it is, it's got them running in fear. All except for this brave kid, who survived the battle and made it here in one piece. Meet our newest recruit. Hmm, doesn't look like much. Neither do you, Charmy, but I still managed to find a use for your pointy butt. <laughs> here, kid, take this. We're depending on you. Okay, let's get going, everybody. The world's not gonna save itself. Right. <laughs> All right, now we have access to a world map, you and Eggman's caught on good 99.99% of the world. And we only have 0.1% here. Now we can access the world map. This is where we'll be accessing the stages. And that's where the next stage is. And the next few things you'll be seeing here is just DLC for the game. And then, yeah. This is the world map. Map view. Good. Yeah, it's just kind of one big continent, so kind of like Pangea in a way. Even though there's clearly an island over there, and, or some islands here and there. Yeah, but, yeah, and most, however, one thing that's really disappointing about the cutscenes is that most of them are just taken through out of text box like this here. I've just received some incredible news. Sonic is alive! No way. That's excellent. What? Oh, thank goodness! I knew it. I knew it! He's captured in the orbiting prison. My spy there says he's in a solitary confinement cell. They've been torturing him for months. That's horrible! We have to rescue him! Plan's already happening, Amy. I've got a squad on the way to the spaceport in the chemical plant to borrow a shuttle. Come on, guys. Who's up for an old school style jailbreak? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Most of the text and dialogue here is going to be through that here. Pretty much done like that, you know. And you can also press X to rent an, an avatar here. As you can see, you got some from characters that created here. Some other people have created. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work here. Uh, I guess they show some random people and decided, yeah, you can use these ones here. You know, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to jump straight into it with our, our character. And, and yeah, throughout those stages here, the characters are going to be talking up in the corner, and I'm not going to unmute. I'm not going to be quiet so you can hear that. So now we're just playing as the, which is going to be called the rookie throughout the whole game here, and you know, and so control is pretty much kind of the same as modern Sonic, except except he doesn't have a boost, boost, and he has like a wire attack as opposed to a homing attack. Again. What we have here is a wisp bin, it's called the book, and this is called the burst wisp, wisp, wisp bin. So it just it's basically like a flamethrower, as you can see. It's actually one of the best wisp wisp bins to use in the game. Yeah, yeah. At least that's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, we'll also be able to unlock some new types of wisp bins as well as clothing, a whole bunch of clothing options, and so that we can and add them to our character and wispins so that uh, new types of wispins as well as certain ones that actually have abilities easier to the game and which is oh, oh to the wispins so that can give it a little perk and whenever you collect a wisp like the first wisp you can do stuff like this to go up getting extra height to go up oh, wait. it's pretty cool yeah, but, uh, the, I won't say this right now the the rookie stages are definitely, in my opinion, the best stages in the game. Here, here, and now on a train. Yeah. And yeah, probably can tell that we're in chemical plant again. First green hill, then chemical plant. Oh boy! But I'll say this though: at least chemical plant actually feels a little different enough, enough from how it was in generations, because. Because he, he looked in the background in that area before this, there was like s a bunch of snow, snow out there before, so I do think that's a nice touch for here that they added here. Add a little extra detail 
with some snow. You know, but yeah, aside from that, other than that, that's kind of it, you and you know, and every person wins, is so we can just go on up and, and yeah, some red wings may require you using a certain uh, a certain wrist spin to get them. Um, some might, some may not. You can get in one go over oh, here, but yeah. Last one sh might be on this rail grinding, but I don't remember where. Cause it, cause it, that's it. See how? There it is, and got all red wings. Then get. Yeah, this, this launch base here actually looks really cool looking. Here, here, and. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm kind of crazy in the game, but yeah. Levels here, just, the big problem, one of the big problems I have with the game is that the levels are too short. Not just the beginning, first few, but pretty much practically all, all of them are. Well, most of them are. It can be, the, they're like a one minute to two minute stage. Well, this was like two to three minutes because I was collecting red rings along the way. And now we have access to the Place where we can customize our avatar now. And some more DLCs here. Would, which we can either do this or just press the right bumper. We can change our character's outfit. Fit as well as a wispin. So like a... Like a... Oh. Yeah, so just... Mark all those exclamation marks down, down here and... Here and... Yeah. Cause it, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Actually, want to change the skin color to be that one. Actually, that closet. Yeah, this is where you can save outfits. But yeah, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. And now we're coming to the third stage here with our third playable character. And the <laughs> tail is at its worst with this first cut, cutscene that we're gonna see here. Oh, and hmm. Good to see be every Sonic, but yeah. Well, maybe if I'm just a point, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, that cutscene you there know, by far voice moment of Tails ever. Like, yeah, I'll say this: the worst story is definitely the worst part of the game here. And honestly, I would much rather take Lost World story over over this game and story any day. Because at least in that game, Tails at least ha was not too. Wasn't a coward to stand up and have a get into a fight with uh, Sonic and Eggman uh, during that one cutscene. Thinking, yeah, we're playing as classic Sonic here, and and since these, this game game takes place directly after Sonic Mania, he has the drop dash. It's pretty cool. Nice that they included in here. Although the classic Sonic physics are messed up like hell. Here, like honestly, like uh, let me just try to find a good spot to. Oh, you here? Right here. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make this jump here, and I'm tapping A, and look, I'm not even reaching the top. But when I hold A, I do that. That's how that. I can make the jump a lot higher, and once a classic sound like makes a jump, he becomes like so heavy, pretty heavy, to where he just falls pretty fast. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty much every time I make it a jump of classics, I'm like, it's gonna be, I'm just gonna be holding A the whole time. I'm throughout that whole jump. And at the end. <laughs> Would have liked to get more red, red rings, but oh well, but. The main reason why I wanted to collect the red rings is because they unlock extra levels, which I'm pretty sure they are, they can be beaten in like 30 seconds to a minute. And they've got an S rank, and starting from this point onwards, you start unlocking clothing thing for the, for the rookie. Really cool, and just depend. It depends on how high your rank is. And a couple of months ago in the city, I was like. Cutscene. <laughs>